Hello everyone. I am excited to be here today at 42 to talk about something that affects all of us, how AI is changing our work and skills. AI coding assistants, ChatGPT, GitHub, Copilot, Cursor, Windsurf, they have made our development faster and easier, but they bring real challenges. So we need to ensure that as AI takes over repetitive tasks, we don't lose our ability to think critically or creatively and to, be in, to ensure that we are the ones that are solving the problem. So that's exactly what we are going to explore today. So let's get started. AI makes coding easier, let's be honest, but it can also make us mentally lazy if we are not really careful about it. So there is something called metacognitive laziness. It happens when we rely too much on something, in this case AI, and we stop thinking critically and engaging with our work. So this is actually an issue and the researcher warned about something called AI chatbot induced cognitive entropy or short for AI CICA. This is where developers lose their critical thinking skills over the time. So it's not just on a day, but over the time. Just like muscle weaken without exercise, our coding and problem solving skills deteriorate when AI does all the work for us. Another big problem, in addition to laziness, would be skill degradation. With AI providing instant answers, we would skip the why and the how of coding, which is very important in the learning process. Beginners in particular would risk developing a shallow grasp of programming concept. Debugging is another issue. AI often finds and fixes the bugs especially with the new tools such as Windsurf and Cursor. So this means developers do not get the hands-on practice like they used to, and they wouldn't have the tendency to improve themselves. So over the time, I believe our mental muscle memory would be getting weaker and weaker, and it would make really hard for us to solve complex problems independently. So a real world studies are already showing skill degradation. This is due to the AI reliance. So think of yourself, how often do you use ChatGPT? Three years ago, were you using any tool, AI tool, maybe other than Grammarly to check your grammar or something like that? So as a new modern individuals, we are getting more reliant on AI. So actually a study found that nearly six in nine percent of students reported laziness and 27 lost their decision-making skills because of AI. So experts have drawn parallels to aviation because when pilots rely too much on autopilot, their ability to fly manually, fly an airplane or any sort of aircraft, such as helicopter, it would decline significantly. So the same could happen to developers and engineers if we let AI to thinking for us and we would be just an additional tool for the AI to handle the system. So how do we combat this? One solution is to build a culture of continuous learning, which is very important on an individual level. Many companies provide e-learning platforms and sponsors professional certifications. And another one would be knowledge sharing, like tech talks, forums, we would help developers keep learning from each other. And another one would be like something like HackerRank, which is a platform or lead code which would allow developers to practice real-world coding challenges and stay sharp. This is just for developers, right? Well, think of AI engineers. We don't have to maybe provide coding. We can provide different questions where they would actually go and practice or do their best or challenge themselves. In this case, hacker rank and lead code would be suitable for, for example, developers. Another effective strategy is focusing on hands-on projects that 
would push developers to think critically. Passion projects, R&D prototypes, and internal coding competitions, these would keep developers actively engaged. So hackathons are a great way to force developers, and not only developers who are going and attending as a team, but also as a judge, it would encourage them to solve unique challenges or observe people who are solving unique challenges and judge them and learn from their uh, practices. And uh, someone who's joining the hackathons, I believe the individual would be under the pressure and they would practice working under the pressure. So it is very valuable. The key takeaway is that we are learning by doing, right? So it's the best way to maintain. Unless in the future, we're going to have chip in our head. We're going to just install the information. But at this stage, learning by doing is the best for all of us. Now, one of the best ways to keep developers sharp is mentorship and collaborative work. It can be coding. It can be brainstorming. So when experienced developer guide a junior, through problem solving, both parties would be learning in a way. A person who is, for example, a senior developer, they would revisit their knowledge. And at the same time, a junior would be learning from the team member and try to understand what are the best you know, practices in terms of coding or programming or in, ter in terms of ar architectural decisions. For example, in pair programming, one person would question the AI-generated code, and that would lead to a deeper discussion in the team. Another one would be code reviews. If code reviews require developers, either if the individual is a junior person, mid-level, or a senior, it would give them an opportunity to explain their understanding from generated code. And obviously, as a business owner or who, who is less technical, they would feel more confident on written code where we literally use AI as a co-pilot rather than pilot. So it is very important to have code reviews, pair programming, collaborative communication and practices as a team. The key is to use AI responsibly without becoming dependent. I would say try solving problem on your own first before using AI. Well, this would ensure you to engage in what would be the potential solution. And then re reflective practices like how I would solve without AI would help in ma maintaining your critical thinking skills. Also, AI should enhance, right? It shouldn't replace you. You do not underestimate human intelligence, although it works completely different in comparison to AI or artificial intelligence, but it is there for you to support you, not to replace you. That is why make sure that you use it as a co-pilot, you being pilot at the same time. One of the most effective ways to keep developers engaged and sharp is by exposing us developers to different projects and ideas. So it doesn't have to be project at the same time. We have different problems for same domain and we've got the same problem in different domains, but applied differently. So project rotation would help developers work on different code bases and it would help problem solve with the problem solving skills and preventing them from over specializations, which is very important, especially at this time and age. Tech workshops, hack days, you know, dojo sim would simulate continuous improvement and they would give the opportunity to have hands-on collaboration with others. Systems like by Spotify and Atlassian, they created the communities where developers practice skills together and share best practices. So the key is to encourage peer learning, ensuring that developers remain adequate and capable of, uh, first of all, understanding, then solving the new problems. AI has significantly boosted developer productivity. I'm a big deal, we all know that. But especially when it comes to coding tasks or coding related tasks, 
it really helped us. I like in documentation, writing, and refactoring. A McKinsey study found that a developer's completed programming task up to 2x faster when using AI coding assistance. Documentation writing, which is related to coding, but not coding itself. And factoring of documentations, they were improved by 50 to 67% with AI assistance. So it really reduced the time spent on low value tasks. In the Stack Overflow's 2024 developer survey, 81% of developers cited increased productivity. I myself personally, I think it's great. It helps with the writing and the understanding of the code and you are becoming fast. But while AI speeds up the development process, it is crucial that we use it wisely to ensure that we are still building and refining our problem solving skills, which is very important in the long run. AI is powerful and valuable tool, but it should complement, not replace. To strike the right balance, we need to use AI as a learning tool. Developers should always review the AI generated code to understand the why and the how behind it. So deliberate practice is a key. Maybe a code might work, AI generated code, but you should as a developer or engineer, you need to understand the why and how behind that specific code. So deliberate practice is a key. Solving problems without AI periodically to maintain the strong problem solving is a key. So do not just jump on the Copilot, ChatGPT, or the Cascade from Venture. Just try to understand the error on the terminal. Critical review of AI generated code is essential, maybe with a team member or by yourself throughout the development. So treat AI like a junior developer that is there for you forever, right? So make sure that you actually go and verify the work of the junior. Now, finally, please use AI as an upskilling tool. Learn new techniques and programming patterns from AI suggestions, but do not blindly accept them because there is an idea of hallucination in AI. So make sure you actually verify and understand the, the whatever AI is talking about. I personally believe that these new innovative tools that we are using on a daily basis, they actually affect our feeling and impression toward our day-to-day -to -day job. So on positive side, AI removes the tedious work and tasks and prevent the burnout. That's great. But on the negative side, too much reliance on AI can, it would lead to disengagement in a way or boredom or job insecurity. So it is important to have that nice balance and continuously work on yourself as an individual and learn the creative thinking and let the AI do the tedious stuff. So to keep ourselves engaged, I believe we need to keep the work challenging and meaningful. And the other day I told my colleague, that we need to find a meaning in our work. So we cannot just blindly create a, I'm just giving an example, API endpoint or a new button front end or new AI model version. No, we need to find a meaning and the why behind of every decision. Now, encouraging ownership is another point where AI outputs are drafts that developers need to refine rather than accept them straight away. So it would keep the developers in control. And lastly, a growth mindset helps developers see AI as a tool for learning, not as a threat. Think of AI as a, your teacher, but it's available. Right. You write and it takes back instantly, but you wouldn't want your supervisor or teacher to do the job for you. So you need to understand the concepts and go deeper the whys and hows of the technology rather than just use it as a pilot. To ensure developers stay competitive in AI driven world, companies must actively invest in upskilling and reskilling programs. Major tech companies have already taken steps to address this, Amazon, for example, launched a 1.2 billion upskilling 2025 initiative aimed at retaining a workforce in software engineering, AI, 
and cloud computing. AT&T has committed $1 billion to its future-ready retaining program, which provides training in AI, data science, and uh, software engineering and software development. Many companies, including IBM, Google, Microsoft, have also established AI development, ensuring workforce remains skilled and adaptable as technology evolves. In this non-technical session, we have explored the negative impacts of AI. It is very important. You are not a software engineer, even if you are not a technical individual. It is very important to balance out your AI usage. Use AI for efficiency purposes, but continue practicing your core skills. It can be coding, it can be accounting, you know, literature, writing a poem, I don't know. Make sure that you do practice your key skills. Number two is, it is very important to learn continuously. Always encourage yourself for new projects, for new ideas and challenges. Another point would be psychological engagement. Now, keep work meaningful and challenging just for the sake of it. Find meaning in challenge itself and then start working on why and then how. And lastly, for business owners, they should invest in upskilling and reskilling programs. It is very important to make the non-technical and technical step aware of AI and the impacts that it is bringing. So this is the understanding that I have in terms of the impact of AI. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great and wonderful day.